Hi, welcome people, it's Emulator Showdown, back after a little while. We got an update of Citra for you guys. In this video I will show you some changes in this version, but I also took some games and compared them for you with the FPS counter on top of it. So here it is. Regarding the Citra changes, I wanted to show you uh, the differences in the new Citra version. So let's start up Citra. Uh, first of all, the input... Uh, for configuring controller buttons is working again so you can use controller on this version but moreover even better is the new option here you probably noticed that this wasn't in here before on the pre previous versions so let's click it uh, what is happening here is that we can arrange a color pick a color for our screen layout of Citra for example let's say I want to pick this color as my screen layout in previous versions we didn't have this option we had to manually edit the configuration file we picked this color for example um, let's see what happens Pokemon Moon and as you can see the color has changed the layout is exactly the color we wanted we continue with the comparison videos. Uh, we start off with One Piece Dai Kaizoku. It's a Japanese game, so I included the intro only, since I don't understand the gameplay. Next up we have Pokemon Sun and Moon, of course, I can't leave that behind. With my save file I tried, tried them on both the versions and the 6th December version seems to be slightly faster. And for the last comparison I chose Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. A month ago this game couldn't even boot up, but now we are getting into the character creation screen. It's still not fully playable, uh, anyway this is the comparison. Thanks for watching guys, please let me know what you think about my commentary videos and what game I should play next. For example, should I continue with Yokai Watch or start a new Pokemon series or even another RPG game like Bravely Default and Project X-Zone 2. As always, like and subscribe for more.